and that's where the line what okay, was it the line and that's what I call a guitar solo came from. <laughs> And the best part at the near the end is like they go to the uh, technical part where they're going to help the hostages, and the main character like goes, "Oh fuck this guitar!" and turns his power arm cannon on and blows up the entire place. Uh, the shopkeeper is going to be in here. Need to shoot You're first. Gonna die again. No, I got I got the first shot. I'm going to steal all this crap. It's all it mine. End is like. Shepard turns his Omni tool into an arm cannon, <laughs> and he just blows up the <laughs> reefer. Oh, now I got all the items, and it's ridiculous. Now I'm gonna win. Uh, I'm not saying anything. Well, what, this is how you win. Three. You <laughs> kill three. the shopkeeper, you steal everything, and then somehow you survive when he starts hanging out near the exit and spazzing out when you walk on screen. Somehow. So Alright, watch this. Do you have any, Here's any my tag. There he is! Ashley? What? Any E3 favorites? No. Yes. No. 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 Oh. <laughs> I thought it was kind of underwhelming. Oh. Uh, I wanted the Wii U to be my favorite, but then it wasn't, because it's uh, kind of lame in some ways. Uh, what were you saying, Nefek? I'm looking forward to Dark Souls. Oh, yeah, the new it's sequel to... Um, yeah, the, the, that ball, balls hard, balls is hard, hard as balls game. Yeah, that, that was the whole trailer ends with prepare to die. <laughs> of course. Have you seen, oh yeah, Capcom was doing a sort of um, game like that. Uh, Dragon's Dogma, four player. Dragon's Dog. <laughs> yeah, Dragon's Dogma, you play as a dog for a dragon. <laughs> but, no, that looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. Giant bombs, that look like shit. That could be good, could be horrible, it's really no way to tell at this point. Well, you never know. And but I feel like Giant Bomb has been really picky about video games lately. I don't care. I still like them. It wasn't you. <laughs> I mean, it's just connect. like right before E3. <laughs> like, if you watch all their quick looks lately, they're like, ah, this game sucks. Oh, really? Uh, what is, you uh, just shoot aliens? Ah, boring. They haven't I'll, really played anything good lately. So far, they've actually, so far, the games I've played this year, there's only been two games that stand out. Portal 2 and Witcher 2. Yeah. And they're oh, both sequels. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, you, you got. I have to say, Dragon Age Two did stand out for me, but um, <laughs> in the wrong way. I, I, in the end, I have a massive grudge against it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's been a couple of good games this year. Um, I liked Dead Space Two. I loved that. Um, yeah, Witcher Two and Paul Two. Lots of twos, actually. Yeah. T- two seems to be the number this year. And all my, is surprisingly good, actually. Um, all my also, female game playing friends really like Dragon Age 2. I don't really understand why. Uh, are they still your friends at this point? Yeah, they're still my friends. Can't I think it, apparently it's the romances that gets them. Yeah, I, maybe. Oh, I, I don't be, know. I know it, it is your duty to inform yeah. them of their own bad taste. Trust me, I have. And they're kind of like, well... I still like it. That's, yeah, that's yeah, that, that's usually. Oh no, no! I stuck the bomb on the lady. That's exactly what I didn't want to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now she's dead. Well, well, <laughs> well. At least she blew up that altar. I, I, I can't even. I haven't been able to find the exit on this level. I'm so screwed. <laughs> I'm completely boned. I need to leave this level before the ghost shows up because he's going to be here in like 20 seconds. The ghosts. <laughs> Probably just gonna tell you what. Why did you use a bomb? Really? No. I think when these levels with the snake pit, there's a secret exit down in the snake. Uh, pit. here he is. Here he is. Shopkeeper, bounce on his head. Bye. I made it. That was five seconds away from the ghost showing up. This is a good game. I like how it just beats your ass without mercy. Then when you win, it means something because you're not supposed to win. <laughs> like I said, it's like a side-scroller platformy rogue type. Uh, so I've, what? I've I've never seen. I'm I've seen videos, but I never played it, so I didn't. 
Well, it's like a roguelike, because right. it's all randomly generated, and you find items, and well, you die a lot. Well, what, one of the things about roguelikes is that they have... Uh... Oh, awesome. Oh, no, no, no! Oh, no! I got killed by the shopkeeper. My PSP fat, and I have, like, three games for the damn thing. Oh, what well, games? Both GTA uh, story games. And, Which were ported to the PS2. And, yeah, and, the, and Wipeout. <laughs> Wipeout. Oh, um, not, not even, not even Ridge Racer. I'm disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I don't have either. The battery life reminds me of playing my Game Gear. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's like an hour and a half. The later yeah. models battery <laughs> runs a lot longer. Because I remember like sitting on a toilet for an hour and it's still <laughs> fine. Yeah, I, I know, I know. I get really into this, like. I just sit there playing Birth by Seek and I think to myself, damn, we're in the future now. I'm, I'm playing this video game while I'm pooping. This is... <laughs> what, what a time to live in, eh? <laughs> and that's actually how I spent my New Year's, in fact. So I was on the toilet playing my PSP. Fantastic. Which sounds, which sounds depressing at first, but it's sort yeah, of it symbolic does. of me taking a dump of, on last year. It was me... That was... New Year's Eve is my birthday, you know. Oh, so shit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I, I, I didn't mean it like that. Oh, no. I, I, I didn't mean I wanted to take a dump on your birthday. I'm, I'm just saying I was <laughs> I was pooping away the last terrible year. That, that's what I meant. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, there is a lady in the this kissing shop. A weird you can <laughs> steal her. Yeah, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick her up. And say, no, I don't want to buy her. I'll put her down. And then she'll run into my arms, and then I'll rescue her. I don't think that's how it works, but you can give it a try. Oh, that, no, that doesn't work. Never mind. <laughs> she <laughs> wouldn't jump up the thing. I forgot about that. First of, oh, no, I'm already wanted, and there's a shop right there with stuff I want. Well. Alright, all right, all right. I'll, I'll, I'll lay a trap for the shopkeeper. <laughs> A trap. Okay. The bomb is armed. And I uh, don't know. That didn't work. <laughs> that didn't work at all. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that would work. <laughs> You're not playing with Richard. You can't lay a trap. <laughs> oh, those fucking bear traps always get me. <laughs> well, where do I go? Oh, what? Chapter one. Yeah. You'll just walk into them, and Geralt's like, Ah, oh, bugger. And yeah, he really part... should, he shouldn't have legs anymore. They should just be gone by now. <laughs> I like that it's a minor annoyance to him. Yeah, it's like a, it's like, like, like one twentieth off your health. It's like, wow. Forget like, my legs uh, stuck in a again. fucking bear trap. Well and you bear. steal it. Works well on Neckers. Oh, yeah, it kills them. <laughs> Murders them. Whereas, like, I don't know, I, I just, for some reason, kept stacking them up without, I'm forgetting that I have them. Yeah, I just... And really, I never use them. I, I just, whenever I was in the forest, I would just set them. Yeah. I came across combat, but I left them because I figured they'd be useless later in the game. They're useless at the beginning of the game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or just... I like Conflagration, that's a good one. Oh, the trap. I, don't, uh, I didn't use any traps. I just used bombs. Yeah, I think, bombs and oils and junk. Yeah, I started using um, night uh, throwing daggers and yep. traps more. I never use throwing daggers. They, they can take off a good chunk. Yeah, they do. <laughs> I threw one on an elf and he flew away. <laughs> like he just flung away. I'm not sure it was supposed to happen, but he just I don't think so. flung away. You're <laughs> like, oh, damn, <laughs> bit overkill. Throw the idol at the shopkeeper. Yeah, I did that, and I'm 500 short of buying this jetpack. I gotta go find a piece of gold somewhere. And... A jetpack? I want that jetpack. See a piece of gold up there. Yeah, whatever. So Just break it. Just set a bomb by have the boulder. Change Geralt's hair. Give me that jetpack. Oh that yeah. Jet Wait, wrong game. 
what, so what kind of hairstyle did you get? Um, you get the one from the first game, mm-hmm. and then you get some dwarven braids. Um, <laughs> I know. <laughs> you, wants to be pony, fancy. you get a full ponytail. Yeah. Uh, what else? Some but, sort but, of weird... But you gotta go to a barber to put your hair into a ponytail. Yeah. yeah. There's no way oh. Joel could manage that task by himself. It's kind of disappointing. Yeah, there's no but... way to get to either go to a barber to get your hair taken out of a ponytail. I was kind of disappointed that you can't style it so Geralt is bald and all his hair's on his face. <laughs> so he could be a sort of long beard and it's like braided too. What's that finisher DLC anyway? I uh, you get some new finisher moves. Oh, just variations on that, so... Yeah. It just yeah. gets boring. Is there a hairstyle like uh, Witcher 1 where it's all loose? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay, that, that's what I wanted. That's what I put mine on. I'm not. Uh, I don't know why people had because I think this pack came out because people complained about his hair, a half pack or something, and I didn't mind yeah. it. Some some of the first mods I for the game care. just changed his hair color, and it made him look more white like the first game. Because he looks kind of like old and beat up in the second one. Well, well isn't he? <laughs> yeah. Well, he he's is beat up, but guy. he looks like he's in, he's in his forties, where he looked more like in his thirties in the first one. He probably is. Yeah. 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 He's probably like actually like in his seventies, to be completely honest, because he's magical, so he ages slower. Oh. Yeah. So they kind of plateau out. Yeah, I have no idea how old. Masamir there is no default age. There is actually no really age listed anywhere, so Cause, yeah, cause it's that, up to interpretation. Because they always die before the end. Yeah. Well, let's put it this way: at the beginning of in the short story series in the first book, um, the Last Wish. One of the um, the lot of the last stories has him saving Princess of Centra, and he gets blah blah blah. He'll be Siri will be his ward. This is before Siri is born, and Siri is born, and he gets talked with her thirteen years later. So at least thirteen years pass between that book and later in the series. And then at least five years pass from the end of that series into the game. So it's at least been eighteen years. And I have completely yeah. failed to save this lady. Probably gonna and blow her up now. Jennifer, who's she? Oh. She was in the books, right? Jennifer. Yeah, Jennifer's in the books. Yeah, now she's popped up. Jennifer's kind of a bitch. I don't really <laughs> I like heard. her. Yeah, that's kind of her character. She's kind of bitchy. I don't that's really like her that serious. much. I like Tris a lot better. She's nicer. No, yeah. we're talking about her in the books. She is. Yeah, she is by default kind of a bitch. I did want the relationship between Geralt Triss is, and... Geralt is pretty stupid sometimes. <laughs> what, what were you going to say? I did like the uh, relationship between Triss and Geralt. It sort of... I know, it sort of reminds me of Frozo and Sam. <laughs> That's gay. <laughs> the ultimate romance. <laughs> it, was, it was like... Wait, yeah, wait, was wait why, why, why? I gave the like idol to the shopkeeper and he killed me. <laughs> Because <laughs> she threw it at him. <laughs> so it hurt him. Uh, I, uh, I had all the health and I had the jetpack and I made it to level 5 and, and this happened. No. <laughs> uh, if I didn't have so much love for this old Super Nintendo controller, I would be throwing it at the wall. <laughs> but yeah, in the books... um. Geralt's whole romance with Yennefer is magical-based. He wishes upon yeah, he, a genie for her to fall in love with him, which seems like it just wouldn't work out. Yeah. Maybe in my head that, as far as magical rule goes, magical ma- magical love just doesn't uh, work, but... I don't think they follow Aladdin rules in, in Witcherverse. <laughs> they should! I think it's just Geralt being a dick. <laughs> like, <laughs> you're in love with me. <laughs> Bye. Who's <laughs> lonely? Now, I just, I found a piece of dialogue in the game where Geralt's like, uh, you know, no one has any idea how long a witcher actually lives because witchers always get killed. Yep. Yep, that's all. They all die. They all get killed on the job. So your life kind of sucks. I don't even know how old. Just, that's just like the shopkeeper, how I, he always dies when I shoot him with a handgun. Yeah, and the how. shotgun. But he, just comes, but he just comes back. Yeah, but now I have a shotgun. And the shotgun is a great weapon to use against other shopkeepers, so I can rob them too. <laughs> uh. 
you think in the third game they'll call a, a, a Hideo Kojima and make Geralt really, really old? Like, the mutations made him <laughs> some generic thing. <laughs> so you have to, like, read porn mags to make, keep his stamina up or something. <laughs> keep his vigor up. Oh, Is here's the shopkeeper already. That's the thing you know. I am in trouble. Okay, the lady's going to take the first bullet for me so I can get past. Here we go. <laughs> Great job. I don't know if I believe you. No, actually, no one got killed. I'm surprised. Wait, what? Really? In four, uh, instead of stamina, you have a psych meter, and to restore it, like to lose stress, you can read like female magazines <laughs> or get a back massage or something. Kojima weird. just loves putting porn and butt jokes into his games, and he'll go yeah. to any lengths to make that legitimate. Yeah, yeah. basically. And that's why we love him. The villain in um, Peace Walker, she's in her <laughs> underwear. <laughs> you fight her in, she's like fighting in the Metal Gear in her underwear. And like, I guess because it's so hot in there or something, but I just find it funny that like, Kojima must be laughing his ass off. Like, yeah, they're going to hate this. He's just messing with his fans. It's awesome. You're going to die. The ending was hilarious. Because I, I will, got, eventually. You think you got the bad guy, but he, he keeps escaping your jail. <laughs> So every mission, like the end. Oh, mission, stuck on that shopkeeper. Always like finding him. Mm, blam. But nope, it turns out to be the little fourteen-year-old girl who turns out to be eighteen the entire time. <laughs> She's a spy. Good. Surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Japan. Good. Good. Her name's not good. Her name's not Paz. It's uh, a much more ridiculous name. It's Pacifica Ocean. <laughs> That's her name. <laughs> more ridiculous than Paz. Surprise. Uh, isn't that a game of a character called Cold Hotman? <laughs> yeah. Because I, I see that as just pretty much impossible to beat. He's the CIA. <laughs> Cold Hotman. Although uh, Metal Gear 2 on the MSX had a, a character named Color Ninja. Color Ninja? Well, and he was a NASA man. agent. Yes, was well, there someone man. named Shoot Gunner? Or am I forget? Am I Shot Gunner, yeah. <laughs> can, can you imagine, like, the meeting with Big Boss? It's like, oh, so, what, what do you do? I'm Shoot Gunner. Really? I, I fought bees. What, what can you do? <laughs> I, I, I can run. <laughs> right. <laughs> any this, any this, idea what this, the pitcher's mitt does? Not a clue. Yeah, how about the spectacles? It, you see... I think you see all the um, secret exits. Oh. I didn't realize I there think. were secret exits. And the spike shoes. I'm not sure what those do either. I think they make you immune to piranha plants when you jump on them. I don't know. I always try to run it through with the least items as possible. I'd go for the most items, because then I can actually win. At least a little bit. The I ones, feel better about myself if I do it with a few items. But the one successful run where I got to the to uh, like the, the last world is where I murdered the shopkeeper and stole the jetpack, and then I had a, just the shotgun jetpack combo got me through everything. I've only gotten to the third world with no items. Yeah, I got to the third world. Yeah, these everywhere. Mitch yeah, it's bad. Throw farther spike boots so you don't slide in ice levels. Oh, okay. Specs allow you to see gems and items in walls. But there's Thanks. another Thanks item chat. that does that. You can, uh, if you find a treasure chest in the first four levels, it'll have that emblem thing in it. And that spikes. emblem is p the emblem is part of finding the secret exits where you find that, and you dig up the, the secret exit where you go. It, it's it's how to get the best ending, basically. It's kind of complicated. They're in the snake pit area. I remember that. The secret exit. Hmm. Maybe that was like Big Boss's folly. That the reason why Snake killed him was because Big Boss killed all the freaks to <laughs> that defends the big bad thing. So instead he got Shotgunner. <laughs> like, he, he killed the Pain and the Cobra unit and the other weird unit. And in Peace Walk, he fought <laughs> AIs. Because they ran out of weirdos. And by the time it got to um, Outer Heaven, it was like, Welp. Welp. We can't find any more psycho turkeys or anything. We, we have to use normal people. 
but we'll, we'll give them weird names just to give the intruders the illusion that they're they're weird, <laughs> but they're not. <laughs> <laughs> they're just they're just normal people. Secret shop level is in the jungle area. Okay. I don't know why there's any point in telling me where stuff is because it's all random anyway. Chat it's all random stuff. anywhere but there are s certain areas or yeah, it, level settings that are if I carry the golden key from one of the first four levels to a later level, is there a super awesome secret that I'll get? Not that I'm aware of. Yeah, me neither. Whatever, I have some bombs. Okay, why'd I do that? And I can't even see what I'm landing on. Ooh, excuse me. through the end already. So is there like a final boss to this thing where it's yeah. actually just like a menu screen and then it goes, you're going to die and then you blow up. <laughs> the, there is a final boss, part. but it's not a menu. Oh. And you do probably die. <laughs> you just walk uh, in the room, it kills you. <laughs> there you go. Right. Oh, I, I love it when I, I stick a bomb onto an enemy. And I'm going to keep this key for no reason. Give me that gem. So who made this um, game? Some guy. He, so his name. He released the Some source guy. code for it, and now there's like all these weird mods for it, and special oh, really? versions. Huh. I think we need like more mods now. We, we should have a more active modding, modding community. Because I remember back in Half Life, there were all kinds of like hilarious and weird mods. Like cat's life, and wish he play a cat in Black Mesa. Hooray! Stupid caveman, get on the spikes. Don't like you anymore. Yeah, so I, remember like, I guess Source is like ridiculously hard to program for. Yeah, I heard, but. It's, yeah, it's really okay. finicky. It's just a shame. Here you go, Kelly. You have this part on a plant. Oh, she liked that, okay. She didn't give me an item, but she liked it. Uh, should have saved that caveman for later. Yeah, I keep getting this uh, this haunted jungle cave motif. So I'm guessing that there's already nude mods for um, women in this game. Uh, could be. They could be naked right now, you can't even tell. It's just pixels. I'm wearing a dress. <laughs> Actually, someone on the uh, Witcher 2 modding site released a, um, unnews patch for Trist. <laughs> An unnewed patch? <laughs> yeah. Like, the internet is getting better. <laughs> where, in the intro, she's like wearing a towel around her instead of being naked. <laughs> It's the worst and, use of technology I've ever heard of. And this description is like, this is for those who get offended by the intro video. <laughs> if you're that offended by... Ooh. Then you probably should not be playing this game. Yeah. Oh, I got killed by a Dracula. What you get for touching Dracula? Let's try to get rid of him. Dracula. Yeah, by touching him. Yeah, I thought of it. Usually, when I'm dealing with caveman or, or piranha plants, I can just grab it and chuck it off to the side, and then I don't have to have to worry about it. Caveman. If, you, if you're touching Dracula, he's gonna touch you back. That's what I just learned. Yeah. Oh god. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's a bit dirty, isn't it? Oh, uh -huh. I think you should call services on him. I, I heard the the Belmonts are great lawyers. I deal with that sort of thing. <laughs> Right. I think I gotta say I'm almost done playing this game for right now, and we've been streaming for like four hours, so that's probably gonna be it. That's soon. okay. Talking about E3, hope. I don't know. It was all right. <laughs> that, that's my review. Can I bitch <laughs> about? Yeah. Can I bitch it about the Wii right. U some more? Yeah, go ahead. 
All right, I'm kind of upset that they're not upscaling Wii games. Oh, yeah. I thought about that. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a cop-out. Uh, it, it does make some sense, depending on, I don't know, how dumb they are. But um, the, Dead Spa the Wii Dead Space game extraction, um, it turns out the textures were are originally made for 1080p, but they what they did is they found a way to downscale it, so when you run it in an emulation, you can see all the textures really clear, which is how it was easy for them to make a HD version for the PS3. Huh. So the texture's already done, so I, I don't know yeah. what's going on. <laughs> they also did that with um, No More Heroes. Yeah, They were developing, develop, blah, developing that on 360 to begin with. And uh, they just made all these high-res textures. And now they're pointing to the 360, which doesn't even make sense. But whatever. <laughs> Not the PS3? No, No More Heroes is going to be released on the, the 360. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, but then the PS3 has the move, which... <laughs> It's like two glowing dildos that you swing around for a bit awkwardly. I love that the first game they demoed was Resident Evil Gold or something, Gold Edition. Because it had, it had new DLC apart from the PC version. Because blah, 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 blah. Hey, why, why? Why did that kill me? <laughs> Which is a shame. <laughs> I don't know. I was going to sacrifice that caveman to Kali, but no, I just dropped dead for no particular reason. Apparently, I, I think I took a step forward as I was swinging the whip, and there is just enough pixel clearance for me to get hit by the caveman as, as I was killing him. I don't know. Yeah, Resident Evil 5 is £10 or 9.99, and Dead Rising 2 is 14.99, which is not bad. And what's DC Universe? Uh, 14.99. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would take Dead Rising 2 over that, personally. And DC Universe just seems like... I don't know. I like the picture of it. Like you see Batman, Joker, and Superman, and then in the bottom you see this generic superhero guy. Well, when they, when they do these major franchise games, it's like they know it's not a good game. They just hope that they'll be able to find enough audience out there with bad tastes to make a profit. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I was listening to my friends play it, and it's kind of weird because she she was playing the PvP and she was describing it to me where. It's the Jedi versus Sith, which you expect from PvP, but they're playing football. <laughs> what? I'm thinking, hang on, if this is a war between Sith and Jedi, I don't think they would be playing football. But she's like, well, yeah, we're playing, we're playing. It's sort of like Blitzball from Final Fantasy X. Are you kidding but me? no, she, I heard her play this, and she was raging pretty hard. What? Which is, yeah, which is kind of funny to me because I bet it's the first time I hear her like like really pissed off and she's getting pissed off over this MMO yeah making some good money over here in the betting hut let Maxwell know that the sacrificing is based on a point system you can get an item for getting a total of 8 points a special item for 16 bombs for 32 and health for every 16 points after that does that make sense? Because no, no. That did not, did oh. not make any sense to my brain. What are the points? Uh, oh, no! No! I threw the dice at the man and he's angry. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> it was an accident! I wasn't trying to murder you that time. Oh, should be gee, like, I'm screwed. That should be a feature in Dice Poker. You just throw the dice at the opponent's face and he dies and you win. Oh, that man is going to murder me. Oh well, might as well make a sacrifice to Kali while I'm out here. 
I remember glitching up the game where the AI like somehow here, lady. messed up his throw, and the dice just all of his dice Ooh. just fr like flew hey, off the ball. Hey, I got balls. some. Uh, I'm, oh no, no, no! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he came back. Uh, okay, that I'm done. <laughs> no more spelunky. <laughs> no more spelunky. Coming soon to 360 and we and, and explore. An X block. X block. Oh, also, um, HD versions of, of Resident Evil 4 and Code Veronica is coming to PSN and X block. Soon. Soon to actually. Wii U, every game made for the 360. Yes. Because it has the same hardware. That's the funny thing. When they made the Wii, it's, it was the GameCube with more RAM and higher clock speeds. And now they made the Xbox 360 with more RAM and higher clock speeds. <laughs> Also, oh, a, a, a gimmicky new controller each time as well. 